would be like in Oshawa, having hundreds of different groups would be a lot better than it is now. I would be able to explore an open call now or do this. I would have to be navigating the way to this ocean. So you have your personality in order. I've been having to survive. High school is a time where one learns to study skills along with leadership, social, and many other skills. I am Justin, and I'm going to be going over how to survive and thrive in high school. I will be going over personality, study skills, technology, teamwork, and some other topics in this speech. To begin, finding one's personality is an experience that all high schoolers face. How does one get past this? Perseverance. And it's another thing that everyone learns in high school. You just have to push through and try different personalities until you find the one that suits you best. Another thing you must find the way you learn best. Taking notes, not socializing in class, and being well prepared are some good ways to help a good learning skill. If you are always aware and ready, then you can ace every test and get a 4.0 GPA on every report card. You need to have good study skills so you can have a good learning style and that 4.0 GPA. You should spend at least one hour per night if you have a test that week and two hours the night before the test studying. That is what my sister does, and she also does very well. And don't put your homework off, or it could hurt you in the long run. If you are going to study for that, if you are going to study for that long every week, then you are going to need to know how to manage your time. It's not all fun and games. You can't play a sport, get home, watch TV, eat dinner, and then go to bed. You need to have a planned time out for when you are going to do your homework and get everything done. You need to have a structured schedule or you won't be able to get everything done. Technology can be crucial to helping you with time management. With online calendars and programs and features, you can get things done two times as fast. You can have quick searches to find information for essays and projects. You can use programs like Microsoft Excel for planning, charts, and equations. Technology can be very important for school and study, but also you need technology for research. Research is needed for writing papers, doing homework. You can use websites like Google or Bing for searches and find what you need. It can be very helpful and it can bring millions of websites with keywords that you typed in. If you use your information from a website that you do not own for sake of legal rights, you must cite your source or you could get in trouble for plagiarism. You also must have leadership and group skills. In many cases, you will work together with others on projects and you have to go to people's houses and such. You can't be that shy or else you could possibly not get good reviews from your roommates it could, if you do not offer to help or be a part of the group. You need to be sociable in high school or else you won't get very far. There are many core classes, which are mandatory classes that all students must take, such as math, science, social studies, and English. They are the classes that if you fail them, you must retake them to pass high school and you must have a certain amount of credits in each subject to graduate from high school. Math is a class that has to do with numbers and equations. Some of the subclasses in math are algebra and geometry. Algebra is a class where you have to find the function of numbers in factors. Uh, and geometry has to do with shapes. You will need calculators and a good brain in this subject. Science is another main course subject. That has to do with the ecosystem, human body, nearly anything about prediction of the universe. You learn how humans function, what things are made of, and other things that make up nature. You must be able to take notes and pay attention, or you will fail. It is about memorizing and studying, and that is what you need to do to succeed. That is the most important part of science. Social studies are all about the history of the world and making the U.S. and all of the major events mankind has discovered. You learn about exploration, discovery of new worlds, and much more like that. But just like science, you must be ready to take notes and pay for the utmost attention, attention to the teacher. If you do not, you could end up failing and having to retake the course again. Finally, English. This is your language, and in this class, you will need to know grammar. This is the most important part, and it ties science and social studies together.
If you know this, you will be great at writing papers for social studies and writing lab reports for science. In conclusion, you will need to be all around versed in many topics. Find yourself and get a good schedule for the four years you have applied for. You will most likely succeed if you follow these rules and keep focused. You will pass and graduate high school with no hesitation.